Before we can truly grind to 99 as a ball player, we first need to change our settings to having the easiest settings possible. You're going to go to your settings tab. At your settings tab, you are going to leave everything as it is because I am assuming that you have already adjusted everything to your liking. Instead of touching anything inside of here, what we're doing is we're clicking on the three dots. Once we click on the three dots, we are going to press save as new preset. Where are we saving this new preset from? We're creating it from the current. And then what are we doing with this new custom for? We are going to rename it and call it RTTS. Therefore, if you would like to change the camera, if you would like to change the PCI, or if you would like to change anything at all, you could go ahead and change it so you could have specific settings for Road to the Show and then specific settings for whatever else it is you play, let's say it's franchise or Diamond Dynasty. So the first thing I want everyone to go ahead and do for Road to the Show is change your hitting difficulty and your pitching difficulty to beginner. After doing that, there are a lot of people that would tell you, hey, if you use this custom ballpark, it's going to make it easier. Or if you use this custom roster with zero overalls, it's going to make it easier. I'm going to be one of the first ones to tell you that it does not matter if you're using a custom ballpark or zero overall players. You're going to be playing on beginner difficulty, and as your player gets better in terms of attributes, he's going to be hitting home runs or extra base hits no matter who is pitching to him or no matter where he plays so it is not necessary and it is not another step that I would want you doing just head straight into road to the show this is a crucial step you are going to make sure that whatever player it is you have activated is the player you want to go ahead and work on the base attributes for because if that player is not activated, then that player will not receive base attributes. Yes, they share diamond archetype or archetype in general program progression, but they do not share base attributes. So as an example, if I have a shortstop here and the road to the show player that I want to develop and get to a 99 overall so then I can go ahead and take into Diamond Dynasty is supposed to be a catcher. Unless I am playing or activate that catcher, everything I do for the shortstop, yes, it's going to help out in terms of the archetype progression, but it is not going to help out to the unique other ball player that plays shortstop when it comes to the base attributes that that player will go ahead and start with as well as the base attributes compared to the shortstop so the shortstop might be maxed out at a 99 overall and then you hop on over to the catcher you put on the same equipment you put on the same perks you put on the same archetype and you will see that the base attributes are still at the initial levels because you did not uniquely raise the base attributes of that player you are planning on taking to diamond Dynasty. Before we jump into the actual road to the show journey, let me remind you to hit that like button and subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Make sure you also check out the description for our Twitch where we stream daily, Discord, we have an MLB The Show community, social medias, make sure you follow them, and how to become a member if you would like to support me financially. Let's continue. Second, I want you to go to your ball player's tasks and rewards. This is going to be another important aspect of it because a lot of people have told me, hey Blade, I'm stuck at 103 out of 100 for bronze. If you go ahead and look all the way at the end, there is a silver skill set pack. In order to advance to your silver archetype, you are going to need to open up this pack and then equip at your skill set that new silver archetype once you equip that new silver archetype you will have a new reward path and new road to the show missions missions will be the fastest way for you to increase your overall because they will advance you inside of the reward path and allow you to get better perks as well as advance you in terms of rarity archetypes so you will advance from a bronze to a silver to a gold to a diamond through missions and each new archetype rarity increases the base attributes that your player starts off at so if let's say this contact archetype is increasing my base attributes of contact vision and power 
by 30 and then power by 20 by equipping a silver archetype it could be increasing it off by 35 let's say for example or somewhere along those lines these missions will also increase your base attributes because in order for your fielding arm strength reaction all of that to increase you're gonna need to get put out and assist in order for your vision to increase your discipline to increase you're gonna have to take pitches and have plate appearances in order for your contact or even power to increase you're gonna need to get double singles home runs and stolen bases is going to increase your stealing and your speed it is pivotal to know in terms of missions that missions once completed you do not continue to earn progression towards them so listen to me carefully here if i were to get let's say in my first two games three extra base hits i would have six out of the seven extra base hits needed in order to earn three program points inside of the bronze archetype for contact if i were in my first at bat to get that extra base hit I would go ahead and complete the mission, but I would not earn progress towards the mission's restarted level if I were to get, let's say, three more extra base hits inside the game. I would not start off at three out of seven in my fourth game. Instead, I would start off at zero out of seven. That's why it's important to also track how many hits, how many extra base hits, how many stolen bases you are away from completing certain tasks. That way you're not stuck inside of a game thinking that you're working towards your hits and extra base hits when they've already been capped off and instead it would have been smarter for you to just simulate out of the game or simulate to your next appearance working to get a defensive opportunity so looking at this enormous stadium and saying to yourself blade i'm not gonna be hitting home runs out of here off rip that's perfectly fine trust me instead what's going to happen is you're going to be getting those extra base hits and what's going to happen with those extra base hits it's going to be beautiful for you because you're going to be working on speed if all you're doing is hitting home runs by downloading a custom stadium or let's say you went ahead and put zero overalls and all you're doing is hitting home runs against them then unfortunately you're not going to be working on your speed unless some way somehow you keep the ball inside of the ballpark and hit a single and then work on stealing bases that will also help your speed another thing i want you all to notice is that hitting on beginner difficulty is easy the pitch is going to come extremely slow and you being able to hit a perfect perfect should be no problem. If you are using normal swing, you will most likely work on your power most of the times. If you were to want to work on your contact instead of power, then you would swing with circle. That would go and 100% always work on your contact. If you wanted to specifically work on your power, then instead of using circle, you would use square. Now, I probably won't go ahead and steal a base here because my player has no speed whatsoever but I will show you the method to stealing bases so regardless of whether you are at first base or second base the method is this you are going to hold down the left analog stick and it should highlight return on the arrow key in terms of your base runner then when the pitcher raises his leg all you would do is move the analog stick from down towards your right. So you would move it from down and as soon as the pitcher lifts up his leg, you would move it to the right and then the runner would instantly jump. What that allows you to do is, if you wanted to take a lead by pressing R1 and the pitcher did a quick pickoff throw, because you were already holding down the left analog stick, your player instantly dives back instead of you getting picked off. And if at any point the pitcher decides to, hey, I'm gonna throw a pickoff to first base, your player will instantly dive back instead of just staying there frozen. It also helps you because you're already holding down the analog stick, so when you need to steal, all you do is a quick flick, and boom, your player is running, and you're trying to steal the bag 
easily. Now, if you had seven extra base hits completed in your first at bat, then at this screen playing next game would go ahead and reset it to zero. You do not have to return to the clubhouse every single time in order for it to reset to zero. What I want to pay attention to here is we struck them out seven times. As you can see, my player was the catcher. So did I get credited for seven putouts for the seven strikeouts? Short answer is no, we did not get credited for seven putouts. And that's the annoying thing about leveling the archetype of a catcher. Unfortunately, it does not count the strikeouts as putouts and you have no way of playing each and every single strikeout in order to get it as a putout. That's why a lot of people decide to make shortstops in order to level them up and get that diamond archetype. But then what they don't know is when they create that catcher to take the diamond dynasty, the base attributes don't transfer and then they're screwed over having to play road to the show all over again, this time as a catcher in order to raise those base attributes. With that we are ending today's video. So make sure you hit that like button, or subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss another upload inside the description we got our social medias make sure you follow them how to become a member if you want to support me financially our discord where we have our own mlb the show community and then our twitch where we stream every single day make sure you check all the links out have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all on the next one peace out